of Good Morning Jelani. Good morning. How you doing? I'm great. How are you guys? Anybody have, was there a team Halloween party last night? No, early night for us. Uh, Needed to get some rest. Did you hand, did you hand candy out? No, I live in an apartment, so uh, no, uh, no trick-or-treating for us. No trick-or-treaters. Uh, all right, well, a lot of talk uh, leading into last week, including with you on this show a week ago about Gerard Mayo saying that this team had been playing soft and uh, it, you guys go out, win that football game. How much of a, maybe it wasn't, but how, how much of a motivating factor for you guys was uh, responding to that? Um, I mean, I think we were just ready to win. You know, I don't think, I don't think any of us were taking that too uh, Taking it to heart, I think a lot of us just, you know, we're either trying to prove it wrong or just trying to win the game. So I think the biggest thing for us was just having, um, you know, the message was just to win, just so we can either, you know, prove them wrong or shut everybody else out. So, um, yeah, I wasn't really on the back of my mind during the game. Jelani, as a leader of this team, how proud were you of how not only the offense responded, but the defense as well, to when Drake went out and Jacoby went in and the support you guys all showed him and the confidence you instilled in him? Yeah, I mean, regardless of who goes in on the offensive side, we as defense always will have their back, you know. We'll, um, and, you know, it's something that I always preached before. Um, and I told, I'm sure not just myself when Jacoby went in, but, um, it was one of the first things I did was tell him, like, hey, whatever you do, just do your thing, and uh, we're going to make sure we get the ball back in your hands as many times as we can. Um, so whoever, whoever that is this week, it's, it's going to be the same thing. We're going to make sure that we do our jobs on defense so we can uh, get the ball back to the offense as many times as we can. Jelani, you know, winning changes the vibe down there, and obviously you guys were able to get a win, which changed the vibe. Uh what do you think has been, you know, obviously different as far as now y your vibe down there, especially after the win? What do you feel like you guys need to continue to do so you can keep that same vibe and you can keep that, the, those winnings piling up? We just got to keep doing our jobs and, being, and like I said, being consistent. Um, th that's the stuff that it, like bites us in the butt when we don't do that. So um, we're, we're relaying that to everybody, and uh, we, we – we we know that when we are consistent and doing our jobs, you know, it turns out like that. Devon Godchow said he was surprised with how slow Aaron Rodgers was. Did did, did you feel the same way? <laughs> uh, I mean, I I can't say the same because he uh, he dodged me on the first play when I tried to sack him. Uh, <laughs> so he was quick enough just to get out of reach. So. <laughs> J Jelani, when you wait, does, is he? Does he say anything? Is he? Is he a? Is, he seems like he'd be a trash talker. Who, Aaron? Yeah. Uh, no, not really. No. Does he smell funny? He's I got a weird diet. That. Jelani, does he smell funny? Uh, he has a very strange <laughs> diet. <laughs> oh, I, I, I don't, I don't really, I don't, I don't know. I think, I think grown men sweaty is a. Uh, it's a nasty smell enough, so I think I think everybody's uh, camouflaged it. Okay, <laughs> Jelani, you 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 talked about consistency, and when you play consistent, you guys do well. When you don't, there's issues. What do you think the problem with the consistency is? Is it the lack of focus? Is it the lack of guys maybe not being prepared? Where do you think that um, inconsistency comes from, in your opinion? Uh, I think. I don't know. Uh, during the week, so far this week, we've been doing really good jobs. So I think it's just the lack of doing a job. I think, I think, I don't think anything else because we're. Per I feel like we're prepared. Um, but yeah, when it comes to game time, we gotta you know put our money where our mouths are. And uh, yeah, it's the lack of doing our job. 
I, I read that the Titans had nine players miss uh, yesterday's practice. I know it's next man up mentality, but it, is it more difficult for a defense to prepare for for this team uh, when you guys have so many when there's so many guys with question marks over them? Uh, no, because we're we're preparing as if all their starters are playing. Um, I'm sure we don't know which quarterback's going to play, but we're like like I said, we're preparing for for their best team, best players to be out there. And that includes uh, whether or not uh, both play, or bo- both quarterbacks play. So, um, yeah, we're no, we don't. Uh, yeah, Jelani, I know you guys ignore the noise and try and you know just focus on your job. But last week it was really uh, a crescendo of critique for your head coach following the team soft comments in London, and it appeared that you guys played for him. On Sunday in a game where you lose Drake, all of that, was there any part of you guys trying to show up on defense so that your head coach maybe got off the hot seat a bit? Um, probably, uh, but it's another week. So we're we're getting ready for Tennessee, and it's just another week to have, you know, another great week of preparation and and to go out there and showcase what why, you know, Mayo chose us to be here. So... I have no worry about it, and I know that Mayo doesn't uh, listen to the noise as well. So um, we're just going to make sure that we're prepared, really prepared as if, um, you know, this is a, a, a really big game, which it is. This is the next one. But, uh, yeah, we're not really too worried about the noise. You're on to Tennessee, as you said. Yeah, we're on to Tennessee. You know, this is it's a new week. we got some good weather right now, and uh, we're going to make sure we take advantage of it. Sounds like something the mermaid whisperer would have said. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Enjoy Nashville. Yes. Don't enjoy it too much. I appreciate it. Uh, If you could. Yeah. You guys have a wonderful day. I would go for a 7 p.m. curfew, maybe. Uh, Try lowering that a little bit. Oh, dear. uh, Enjoy it down there. And we will talk to you next week, Jelani. All right. You guys have a good one. Okay, man. All right. That is Jelani Tavai on a Patriots Friday here at WEEI.